40 minutes up the freeway is a winery steeped in history. With vines dating back as far as 1839, Oliver's Taranga in McLaren Vale is definitely worth a visit. We're here to have a look at their cellar door and meet the family behind the wine. It's not often you get to meet a family that has built a business that spans over six generations. Now the Oliver family have been farming in McLaren Vale for 182 years. Crazy! And now they have their brand new stunning oh, cellar door. It is so beautiful. Come on, we'll show you around. The cellar door is one of the best we've seen and they offer some really fun experiences. More of that later, but for now, let us introduce you to Karina, who is sixth generation Oliver and the first of the family to become a winemaker. Our family have now been here for over 180 years. Uh, Oliver's Taranga has uh, been in the family now for six generations. Uh, sight unseen, they came out from Scotland. I don't know why we're not whiskey makers, but here we are, they planted vines and we're still here today. So yeah, William and Elizabeth Oliver, they came out from Scotland. Uh, they had two kids where, by the time they got here. Um, they had to dig a well and they had to build a property and they had to plant vines and you know, sustainable farming is what they went for. Um, of course, back then, wine was part of um, being sustainable. It was medicinal. So I'm really lucky to work with my cousins, Bryony and Sam in the business. We're all sixth generation uh, cousins. We are always here, so there's always a chance that you'll run into one of the family members when you come to the cellar door. When you first visit Oliver's, you can book different tastings and Hayley asked Karina to join her so she could find out more. Their wine is named after different family members and there is still a deep connection between the family today and their ancestors. And is Mrs Oliver your grandmother? grandmother. Yeah, so her maiden name was Hunt and so Hunt for Mrs Oliver. This is a sparkling Fiano. When you drink these wines and you know that it's named after your grandma, does it give you that yeah. like warm and fuzzies inside? Yeah. See on the back label here, um, Pinking Shears. She used to cut us out out of old um, out of old envelopes. She'd cut out with her Pinking Shears because that made it posh, and then write us notes. We love Cheers! It. Cheers! Mrs. <laughs> we love Gran. You can also do a private tour on a golf buggy where you'll get to sip wine in the vines and learn about the heritage sites, sustainable viticulture and winemaking process. So Karina, I've got a glass of Fiano in my hand and we're in the Fiano vines. So yeah, this is our oldest Fiano vines. They're planted about, they're about six, 16 years old now. And what I love is for you, you own Oliver's Taranga, it's sixth generation. You're also the winemaker. There's not many female winemakers in South Australia or probably the world, am I right? Yeah, well, we're less than 10%, unfortunately, in South in Australia. So yeah, we need to get those uh, numbers up. Thank you for doing your part and being an amazing female winemaker. Fiano is great. The tour is great. Thank you for having me. No worries. You're welcome anytime. I'd cheers you, but yeah. you've got to drive the buggy. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Cheers. Interesting fact about Oliver's Taranga is they have the cutest cellar door dog I've ever seen. Her name is Marge, or Margie, or Marge. That's what, that's what Karina calls her. And you're the cutest. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oliver's has a really good energy, and there's a lovely mix of the old and new. You can enjoy their new cellar door or relax on the original building which dates back to 1850. And if you'd prefer to wet your whistle with gin, make sure you try their quince gin. Add Oliver's Taranga to your list next time you head south to McLarenvale. You will not be disappointed.